Good evening, everyone. It's been a long day, a long, short day. Just uh, barely seven hours. It's short, seven hours is short. No lunch, straight through. And just to top it off, when I come to clock out, I press the wrong button. So I didn't clock out at all. Heat it up, come on girl. Heat me up, it's cold outside. All right, time for the nightly deposit. It'd be fun if I would touch a percentage of that. You should not make a deposit. That truck is not made for like drifting. I was watching these kids drifting around in their car. You, my truck is not made for drifting. It has a stability and its control system. That means that no matter how much I want to drift, it just won't let me. The ABS system will get in, will engage, and then it's gonna prevent me from drifting. And then anyway, I don't have gas. I don't have gas to waste. This is too big of a bulky vehicle to do drifting with. Ah, the cup's going in the wrong direction. <laughs> my favorite place when I used to have my Mazda Speed to drift was uh, the place where I used to work because it's a private neighborhood it's an industrial boulevard and it's kind of private at night only if you have a, a key a key to present and you can go and uh, every time it was snowing like this it was the best place to go because uh, Nobody was allowed, so it was like fresh virgin snow. Ah, that was a day. Whoosh, that temperature is up in here. Three point four degrees Celsius. Ah, that's cold. It's minus four outside. That's not so well. That's not the bottom of being cold. Heat seat, that's enough. Heated seat. A little, whatever little luxury I have in my car is the heated seat, which is highly appreciated. <sighs> what a day. I, li I like better when I work with my co worker, Sean. He's, uh, he's younger than me and, uh, He's somewhat mature and he likes his jobs. He's doing his best. Jeff is more, uh, it's always edgy. It's not fun working with him. He's always edgy. Oh, God. I worked like seven days this week. It would be very, very, very nice with the two small tickets I have in my pocket if I would be a winner tonight. That would be so nice because today as a desperate measure in order to get some money to pay off my debt, I have to put my smartwatch, my Sony smartwatch, which I hold very dear. And um, yeah, it's a luxury item that I love very much. I work really hard for that piece and uh, I have to sell it. So today I put it on the classified and I also put it on eBay as an auction. And uh, I, I wrote the reason why I'm selling it under the description and I'm asking a thousand dollars for it. So if I'm fortunate enough to uh, score a sell and I would actually hit thousand dollars or any any money close to that it, it would leave, it would like take a relief of it would take stress off my shoulder because currently I'm running two three debt that I'm running right now that I'm very late on and uh, I'm trying my best to pay them a little bit each time with what I can 
but with the salary that I make right now it's almost impossible when you earn $12 an hour here in Quebec we are so overly taxed that when you get your pay it's the equivalent of it's the equivalent of $8 an hour so when you work at that salary you must not have any debt you must live debt free you don't you must not have any payment just your rent and food that's all you can afford with uh, $12 an hour and uh, it's it's really like a shitty situation that I'm in and uh, it's my only solution right now that I'm seeing is to do committed full-time my company to do that full-time and offer my service to the dealership and uh, hope to score some sales with them on a regular basis and uh, it, it, there's 25 dealership around where I live and uh, if I was to be lucky enough it would be a job a day in any dealership and I, my, a job that I usually do goes from 150 to 250 dollars a week to, I mean 150 dollars to 250 to 400 to 500 dollars but what I expect from everyday sales, if they were good enough to make sales, these guys, it would be I would make at least two hundred fifty dollars, two hundred fifty dollars a day. That would be a decent living. Five days a week. That would be very very decent. <laughs> on my weekend, I would have a, a reason to rest on the weekend. Yesterday, Sunday. All I did was a simple install, which was uh, light under the dash, LED lights under the dash as an accent lighting. That means accent lighting means that you see your foot on your car when under your dashboard with a color. There's a color, there's an accent color at the floor and the front and the back. It's what we call accent lighting. And uh, these, usually the four, the floor, it's usually around eighty dollars to hundred dollars, and then I did the LED under the car, which was a first because I didn't use my tubing for the two side rail, but I I did it very solid. I, I, I it's not gonna rip off, and uh, I charge all in all two hundred fifty dollars. It took me six hours of work to do all of this for about. almost $70 worth of parts and that's the raw cost so it, it's not so bad you know it's, it's a good revenue but if I was if I was able to do that every day ah oh boy I would be trouble free you know but like my business is in the lighting business and it's in regard to cars so the amount of car that's on the road is equal to the amount of people and sometimes there's two cars for one person so there's this is a good venue it's just that not everybody it's not everybody's cup of tea and it's not everybody who wants these things into their car some people are happy enough with just a little lighting that they have that they don't see anything and uh, some others they would go they go crazy you know they say like I, I want the whole things under the hood, the entire interior of the car, I wanted everything lit up, I want to see everything, and the trunk. It's like, no matter how much it costs, I want it all, I'm tired, I'm not seeing anything in my car. So usually, these are the kind of people I land on, that's their attitude, and they know the value of my work because I'm gonna brighten up their worlds and they're gonna see inside their car. Because a lot of people spend a lot of time in their car. They, uh, they don't necessarily uh, just, get inside and drive and that's it some people work with their car and they need to see and yoinks I'll be right back that at just the same time the fucking guy there well my deposit is done let's get out of here it smells like diesel ah gross I don't miss working in diesel Fucking awful smell. <sighs> so
So I'm happy about myself today because I did my entire day without goofing up once. It's not so bad. If you don't, I'm very tired. When I come back home at night, I have the choice of when I'm done with my deposit here at the bank. I need to. Yeah, I'm a, I'm six kilometers from home, so I have a choice of the small street or the boulevard. And tonight I'd rather the small street. It's snowy and it's slower. I hate too much. <laughs> and believe me or not, I'm such a pig that when I get home, uh, when I finish my day of work, I'm still hungry. I'm famished. So I always bring myself a, a second meal, a small cold second meal, and uh, I heat that. I heat that at work while I'm doing my closing, and then uh, afterward, when I get home, I sit in front of the computer. I I still manage to eat some chips. Like seriously, I already ate like a pig uh, at at eight thirty, and then I have to. Stuff my face with chips again? Jesus Christ, no wonder why I'm fat. It's like there's no there's no slimming inside. I'm not just I'm not gonna slim down in inside. Because you know I was some I, I used to talk about addiction in one of my previous videos. And uh, your brain is hardwired to want these things. Well the taste of them of course the, the every chips are good, you know. I never ate a chip that wasn't good. Well, <laughs> I ate a few chips that weren't delicious, but not 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 good. And uh, it's hardwired in your brain. You know, you finish. Uh, you're sitting in front of TV or the computer. You're relaxing. Uh, you want to chow down something. It's you want to chow down. You know, it's if you're not gonna talk, you're going to chow down, and uh, you're gonna chow down on chips. People love chips. It's uh, it's always delicious. And uh, many time over, I found my. Uh... Give me a second. Ah, gross. I found uh, some taste that I really loved, like sriracha. I love anything with sriracha. And just recently, I saw here one that I got addicted to, and it's ketchup and sriracha. It's like wow. It's like there's a party in your mouth, and everybody's invited. It's so, so delicious. And uh, if, I, if I didn't want my, my chips to last, I would empty the bag in over one evening. But usually I eat just a small portion until my water runs out and then I roll my bag and close it up. Usually it's about 10, 15 pieces and then I close the bag. And uh, Sorry. Even such a small amount, it's like I'm picking out. Anyway, for an evening vlog is getting long. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow, and uh, I hope tomorrow I would I would wake up and watch my uh, check my numbers and be a winner tomorrow. That would be very 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 nice. I would have a merry Christmas if I would wake up a lottery winner tomorrow morning. I'm not asking for much. I just need 250 grand. That's the amount of winnings I can get from the ticket I buy because it's it's just the minimum that I need I don't I don't want millions and millions I would not know what to do with them I just want my 250 grand I want to win that lottery and that's like mostly of what's on my mind all the times so I'll bid you guys good evening and I'll see you guys tomorrow